And now that we know the names of our 12 semifinalists, it's time to get to know the ladies themselves a little better. As I chat with each contestant, the judges will be giving them scores based on the charm and personality of each contestant, rather than on the content of the interview itself. And during the commercial break, each young woman was advised that she could have an interpreter available if she so desired. As you will see, some of them did. You folks at home will see a score posted immediately after each of these interviews. And I'm going to begin with Miss Holland. Will you step over to me, please? She is Ingrid Schouten. She's 20. She lives in Zeist. Is that correct? Yes. Been studying bookkeeping and plans to enter college. And what do you want to study in college? Now, you stay right up here in this good light. You want to be as pretty as you can be. And I want to be up here and be as pretty as I can be in this light, too. Now, what are you going to study in college? What I'm going to study in college? Yes. Oh, I try to tell it everybody here in America, and it's difficult to say. It's a kind of economy. Economics? Economics. Business? business. Why do you want to study business? Mm, because in Holland you can get a good job later. And when you go back to Holland, what are you going to tell your friends about New York? Great. You like it? Yeah, very much. What have you liked the most? Um, people here. The people are very mm. nice. I'll tell you, when you go back, you can tell them one thing in Holland. The Mets have not lost a ball game in more than a month. Okay? Okay. All right. Thank you, Miss Holland. She has score for her. And we'll talk with Miss Ecuador. Miss Ecuador is Lucia Vinuesa Urgeyes, 18. She lives in Quito, and she's a high school student. And what do you propose to do when you get out of high school? Well, I'm going to study architecture in the University in Quito. And you speak English very well. In fact, you've been interpreting for some of the girls, haven't you? Well, yes. When I was seven years old, I lived in Washington, D.C. for a year. Oh, you did? Yes. What? So did... So did several people in the balcony right over there. What were you doing in Washington, D.C. for a year? I was going to school there. You just went there to go to school? Yes. In your bio, you said you were a golfer. What's your handicap? 33. I'm just beginning right now. A 33? Yes. <laughs> when she was in Washington, she took lessons from President Ford. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. I read the other day he's become a fine golfer. Thank you, Miss Ecuador. for Miss New Zealand, who is Danella Thompson, 21, from Auckland, a model, apprentice hairdresser, and clerk typist. You're a busy girl. What do you enjoy most? Out of my occupation there. Well, what do you enjoy most, then? My, um, my modeling. You like modeling yes, most of all? definitely. And you're from a very large family. Oh, yes. There's How many in your family? These 10. Was that fun, growing up the family of 10? Oh, yes, it was, really. Is this your first visit to the United States? No, in fact, it isn't. Uh, my first visit to the United States was in 1979. Where did you go? To California. Los Angeles? Yes. And you were surprised that there was not one bit of smog? Are you kidding? <laughs> Thank you, Miss New Zealand. <laughs> see a score for Miss New Zealand at home. And we invite Miss Sweden to step out here. She is Ava Lundgren. She's 19. She studied at the Institute of Languages in Germany and plans to continue her study of languages. And one of the languages she speaks, fortunately for us, is English. What other languages do you speak? Uh, I speak little French, Russian, Swedish, and German. Have you had any trouble talking with the uh, New Yorkers? No, not yet. Have you met anyone from the Bronx? Mm, yeah, one. <laughs> you understood him perfectly. The Queen, have you, how about Queens? Have you talked to anyone from Queens? No, not Take yet. my advice and stay out of Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> now, in reading her bio, I was fascinated with her occupations. One of them was working for her father, you think vice president, not so. Tell our audience what you did for your father. Um, I was cleaning his factory. You cleaned the factory? Yes, and then I was working extra in a hamburger bar. And as a teacher for children. But you were a gardener, weren't you? And a gardener. Yes. And that's it. Now, how, uh, that, that's enough for this. Uh, let's see, what are you? 19. How do you say, I am going to return to my place in German? Ich, oh boy. <laughs> how gonna... do you say, I'm going back where I came from in German? Ich beginne zurückfallen. All right, do it. Right back there. <laughs> Thank you.
Packers floor and meet Miss Brazil. And Miss Brazil has a following in our audience, as you can plainly see. And Miss Brazil has also asked to have uh, an interpreter, and they're becoming fast friends already. <laughs> now, she is Adriana Alves de Oliveira. Okay, yeah. 18, a student at the Institute of Porto Alegre. And uh, ask her, please, what career plans she has, will you? Quais são os planos que você tem para a sua carreira? Para a carreira é de me realizar uma boa médica, que é a universidade que eu vou seguir, e também uma boa profissional como manequim modelo. She wants to fulfill herself as a good doctor. She's going to medical school, and she also wants to enjoy modeling in Rio. A doctor who models part time. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's great, unless she's going to operate on the day she gets a call for the fashion show. Now, I, uh, I believe that all of the girls went out to an amusement park and rode a, a roller coaster, which made quite an impression on Miss Brazil, according to a couple of her friends. Would you ask her to tell our audience about the roller coaster ride? O que é que você achou da montanha russa? Ai, meu Deus do céu, quando eu entrei... Não, em primeiro plano eu entrei pensando que fosse a, da, aqueles carrinhos de cair na água. Quando eu vi, eu cheguei a ficar com dor no pescoço, eu não aguentava, quase morri. As I said, she liked the roller coaster ride, you see? But you have learned some English, one of your friends told me. What can you say in English? I love New York. Great! Thank you, Miss Brazil. Most important thing to learn while she's in New York. <laughs> Miss USA, let's talk it over. <laughs> Miss USA is Kim Seelbreed. She's 20 years old. She lives in Germantown, Ohio, and she's a model. And she became Miss USA just two months ago down on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. And what was the reaction in Germantown when you became Miss USA? I think probably they were very shocked. Well, did anyone say congratulations when you came yeah, home? Yeah, they were very, very supportive. And I'd like to thank everyone there for all the well-wishers and, and all my friends and family. They were great. Well, what have you done during the last two months as Miss USA? What uh, exciting things have happened in your life? <laughs> Well, um, I haven't really had a lot of time to do um, an experience. She's had two dull months as Miss USA, no, as you know. No, no. I haven't had a lot of time to do um, extensive traveling yet, so... Well, where have you traveled? Well, I've been to Trenton, New Jersey. I've been to um, uh, Wichita, Kansas. Um, well, from now on, everything's going to be downhill, because if she's seen Wichita and Trenton, she's seen it all, hasn't she? Thank you, Miss USA. first six semi-finalists and we'll be back to talk to the other six in just a moment.